Hi guys, um, I'm Casper, as most of you probably know, and um, to start off with, yeah, I am sat in the bathroom in this because the lighting's really weird in my room, and honestly, why not film a video in a bath? There's no water in it though, so it's okay. Um, and yeah, the topic for this week is how I realised I was trans and um, yesterday I sat down and I thought about it because it's a bit of a tough one for me because I was a fair bit older than everybody else on this channel when I came out because I was 19 and it was literally just and first thinking about it I thought it was literally me meeting a group of trans people and I was like fuck it I'm like you but then I thought deeper and deeper and it wasn't just that that's the story I tell people because it's quite amusing. But it wasn't just that. It was me at 16 knowing that I wasn't quite female. So I bought some boxes. That was when it started. I was 16 years old and I didn't feel quite female. But I didn't know what trans was back then. I only learnt when I was 17 or 18 and some of you might be shocked by that. But um, for some reason I just had no idea what it was which is probably why I came out at 19 like I came out quite late compared to most people but yeah it wasn't just a case of meeting trans people and I mean fuck it I'm like you it was I changed my name before I came out because originally I thought my birth name didn't suit me and I couldn't put my finger on it obviously now it makes sense but I changed my name to a name that isn't Casper. Um, first, and I got pe some people to use it, some people thought it was weird. And then one of my trans friends sort of like assumed that I was trans and took me to a trans youth club. And me being the awkward person that I am, didn't say no, even though back then I did not identify as trans. I was too awkward to say no, so I got in the car and I went. And I stood there in silence for like the next two hours or whatever it was. And then I kept on going and after a few weeks, um, I turned to one of my friends and I was like, I, I think I'm trans. And then they all said, yeah, that's fine. That's fine because, yeah, I'd say a piece of advice is definitely make sure you've got some trans friends, be it a youth group or slot. I mean, I'm in, we're on Instagram and shit, you can always approach me if necessary. I might not be that great, but I'm better than nothing, aren't I? And then, yeah, I'm going to continue with um, the story of how I came out, because it kind of leads on, and my how I realised I was trans wasn't, isn't really that exciting, because I just met some trans people and realised I was like them. So, and then I came out, um, a good six months after telling my trans friends that I was trans because I was terrified not just that my family that my cis friends would be like oh what the fuck it's a phase and some of them were like that don't get me wrong some of them were like that but most of them were not like I just changed my name on Facebook and that was it and I posted status saying that they could contact me if they had any questions and some of them did, some of them didn't. Most of them were proud. So, yeah, just be proud of yourself. Like, to, and sometimes it takes years, like absolutely years to realise you're trans. It took me three years to eventually accept it. And yeah, don't worry about being that little bit older than your friends because it doesn't bother me that I'm the oldest one of my friend group. And I've only just started transitioning, but there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. Be yourself. Have a good week, and um, I'll speak to you next week. Hopefully not in a bath. Please don't judge me for that. Alright, see you next week, guys.